Good living. Today, in the previous video, I told you to be aware of the functions of the respiratory diaphragm and pelvic floor muscles, but I forgot something important, so I would like to tell you that. If you forget this, it may weaken the pelvic floor muscles further, so please check it. The function of the respiratory diaphragm and pelvic floor muscles is as I mentioned in the previous video, but I would like people with such a stomach to take special care when breathing. When you swell your stomach, the pressure from the inside goes outward, and it goes forward and downward. Therefore, for those who have hungry skin and pop out, if you take abdominal breathing in this state, the pressure from the inside to the outside will be very strong. It may weaken the work of the pelvic floor muscles. Therefore, it is highly possible that a person who originally has a belly popping out will weaken the pelvic floor muscles by increasing the pressure applied from the inside to the outside by further inflating the abdomen by abdominal breathing. People who are originally hungry are the first to withdraw their stomachs firmly, so it is important to be strongly aware of exhaling. Even so, when you inhale, your abdomen will pop out more than a normal person. So when you inhale, be aware of your chest and breathe. Switch between inhaling and exhaling in the stomach. This will prevent the pelvic floor muscles from becoming weaker and breathe. それでは、See you in the next video. Bye bye.